everyone welcome to my youtube channel srikan gurukul here we are with a new informative video that is particularly in this video we shall discuss or try to analyze the recent news regarding the unesco learning cities network now uh, let's see what is in news and why this is in news recently the three indian cities that were uh, considered in unesco global network of um, learning cities and why they were considered that is for their outstanding efforts to make uh, lifelong learning a reality for all at the local level recently the uh, 77 new cities from 44 countries uh, 44 countries uh, were added to the list which made the total tally to 294 the total tally to 294 in the 76 countries out of the new 77 cities three cities were from india and for the first time uh, which is uh, which are uh, which are those cities that are uh, warangal in telangana thrissur and nilambar in kerala among other cities uh, that have joined the network are ukrainian capital uh, that is kyiv or durban in south africa and sarja from uae now let's see what is unesco UNESCO is a uh, specialist agency of the United Nations and uh, what is its full form? The United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization. It was founded on 16th November 1945 in London and its headquarters is at Paris that is in France and what is its purpose? Its purpose is to contribute to peace and security by promoting international collaboration through education, science and culture. Now, now let us see what is the global network at learning cities. According to the UNESCO, the global network of learning city is an international network that consisting of uh, cities that successfully promote lifelong learning across their communities it uh, includes total 294 cities from all around the world that's their inspirations know how and best practice among each other it means that the learning cities at all stages of development can benefit vastly from sharing ideas with with each other as solutions for the problems now let's see what is the significance of the global network of learning cities the network, the global network for, for learning cities, it supports the achievement of all 17 sustainable development goals, particularly the SDG 4 and S SDG 11. What is the uh, what is the SDG 4 says? It says that ensure inclusive and equitable equality of education and promote lifelong learning opportunity for all. And what is the SDG 11 says make cities and human settlement inclusive, safe, resilient and sustainable. Now let us see what is the basis for uh, what is the basis for selecting a learning city and what are the features that define a learning city. The first features that is the effective mobilization of resources in every sector to advocate inclusive learning it means in case of any budgetary shortages the city at its local level must have the ability to mobilize resources to advocate inclusive learning and this second um, features that is required to for a learning city uh, to for the basis for a learning city that is revitalizing learning in families and communities and facilitates learning for and at work places. It means learning must be promoted in every section of society that is in families or communities or at workplaces also. And the it extends the use of modern learning technologies. It means that the learning methodology always must always be updated and augments quality and 
excellence in learning and fosters a culture of learning throughout the life now let's see why these three cities were uh, these three cities were considered by unesco let's analyze the viewpoint of the unesco with respect with respect each state one by one each city one by one now, the first city that is warangal the unesco highlighted that the telangana the warangal that is the telangana city uh, its good practices of advocating healthy environments for children and caregiver uh, free training for the transgender community and self help groups and uh, it also highlighted the uh, functioning of the municipality the municipality has created uh, skill development centers to identify training needs and provide training in those areas that will contribute to economic development and reduce economic development and reduce unemployment and now in case of thrissur city uh, the unesco it highlighted the initiatives focusing on the vulnerable groups undertaken by thrissur and it also highlighted the thrissur puram festival it is an annual uh, event it is celebrating the artistic musical folk art and cultural tradition in the region the city also a prime destination for some uh, famous academic and research institutions now let's see what is the basis for considering the city nilambar uh, it is a growing city whose objective is to promote sustainable development gender equality inclusivity democracy through community ownership and the city also aims to provide equal opportunity for growth to women by uh, ensuring equal opportunity in all sectors promoting capacity building and reducing harassment and the city also provides for free uh, pre primary education for all children below the age of 6 and it is the uh, the initiative also focuses on uh, eradication of child labor and these are the basis uh, for the uh, for considering the these three indian cities for the first time by unesco and this is it for the session if you like the video kindly like uh, share comment and most importantly subscribe our channel for more such videos thank you for watching bye bye take care